Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taryn and we talk about all things finance related from the zero based budget method, cash envelopes to fund savings challenges, anything that impacts our finances, whether that's good or not so good. So if any of that is of interest to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join our community here and let's get into today's video. All right, you guys, so I have not done a budget with me for like the full month of November and I didn't do it for the first week, but I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the budget I have set up for our November 7th paycheck. So first I wanted to share with you that I did receive the new budget by paycheck workbook. She does have on her channel, The Budget Mom, like a side-by-side -side comparison from this one to the bigger size. But as you can see from watching my previous videos, if you're not new here, you can tell that it is significantly smaller and definitely will be easier for like filming purposes. Um, I opted to switch my binder cover to this, but this is the one that it comes with. Equally beautiful. Uh, just not the color scheme that I, I wanted right now. Um, although it's fall and this is probably really perfect for that, but you can swap out the cover. So I opted for the smiley faces. So I am going to start this in January. The tabs are open for you to date for the month that you want. And I don't want to waste my other book and not finish off the year in that one. But I am super excited to start in this one. You know, although it is a little bit smaller, it's still adequate enough to write in the spaces. Like, I don't think that's going to be an issue at all. And it's still the same setup, so you'll still have, like, the five cash envelope breakdowns. You'll also have a spot to track your spending, which, by the way, there is psychology behind that. And really gives you a more intimate relationship with your money, like where it's going, what's coming in. Um, so tracking your spending is super important. I use the highlighter method just so that it breaks it down by category. And then you have your debt payment plan, a monthly net worth tracker. You have a monthly budget category breakdown. So you'll list your categories and it'll basically tell you, did you go over budget or under budget and by how much? And then you have a monthly meal plan. So I'm hoping to kick off the new year with more dedication to this and hopefully reducing our you know, dining out. But I'm gonna be real right now, that's not gonna happen for the remainder of this year. I just don't see that happening. So it'll be something that I try to get my mind and in gear for for the new year so we're not using this today so let me just put this normally where i keep it what i'm gonna do because right now i had tested out the um well it's a google doc for me but there's also an excel version of her budget by paycheck workbook and i do like the online i will probably do both because again there is still something you know to paper uh, to pen to paper like there's something about that that just I don't know, there's magic there. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set up for this paycheck, but I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you in. All right, so this paycheck date is November 7th. I have two things coming in. So my husband's paycheck and then Sky's portion of her car insurance. So right now, while she's working, we are making her pay half of her car insurance. I think it is really important to do these things. Could we just cover it for her? Yes. But making her responsible for it and aware of money coming in, money coming out, and well, money going out and bills and stuff like that financial literacy really does need to start young. And she's making decent money right now, so she's able to afford that. If something changed, then I would cover it for her, of course. But for right now, she is contributing half. So let me go ahead and I'm just going to quickly list our fixed expenses. Okay, so we're replacing what I borrowed from my first paycheck of November. I borrowed 213 so that I could fully fund like the pet binder, the essentials binder. Um, so I'm basically accounting for that now in this check. 
So the gas company I've estimated will be about $45. And then Sonova, which is our solar, is going to be $199. Triple A, which is Sky's Insurance, that's $320. Spectrum is going to be $112. Um, Edison, I'm putting $100 towards that money that we still owe them. And by the way, we're in month three of month 12 of the new year, and it's already over $400. So I have no idea what's going on. I've kind of read some news articles that our governor here in California is had sent something to the electric company, I guess, to try to help us with the costs. But I guess it's not just me who's seeing like that increase of cost. So I have absolutely no idea what's going on. But it's crazy. So our Roth IRA is going to get 200. Let me just add the dates really quick. So our fixed expenses is going to equal $1,189, okay? So then what I'm, oh, I you know, I always do this. I really always do this. The total for the income is $2,893. So you take the income you started with, you minus your expenses, and what's left over is $1,704, so I'm going to bring that $1,704 down here. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more. Okay, hopefully that works. And I'm a lefty, so it does make it hard. You basically see it after I write it. For my variable spending, um, we have, let's see, four right now. Let me go ahead and add those. So for groceries, it's going to get $300 for this week. Gas is going to get two twenty-five. Our personal spending is one seventy-five. A hundred for myself, seventy-five for my husband. Nope, a hundred for my husband, seventy-five for myself. Dining out is going to get one forty-nine. This was supposed to be one fifty, but in order to make this a zero-based budget, I had to reduce it by a dollar because I was over by a dollar. So, a um, hundred and forty-nine. And this, I'm actually going to make note. I am not pulling this cash because it's already spent. So I'm paying the credit card. Um, yeah, see, I told you, I'm not really worried about it until the new year. Um, at this point, I'm just, um, I don't know, fall and winter, there's something about dining out we already have an issue with. You guys already know this. But there's something about going to a restaurant during this time. Maybe it's the holiday seasons. I don't know. So the total for our variable expenses is $8.49 which is going to leave us with 855. And we're gonna roll that 855 over towards our sinking funds. So the sinking funds that we have, I'm gonna go ahead and list. All right, so we are gonna cover that water and trash that we always contribute $20 to each paycheck. We're going to do vehicle registration, vehicle maintenance, roadside, all state car insurance. And then I'm hitting two holidays, which I normally don't do. I normally cover like all of the vehicle stuff and possibly all the home, but I am going to contribute to Thanksgiving and Christmas since both are literally around the corner. Thanksgiving is this month and then shopping for Christmas already kind of starts this month and like the planning and preparation, depending on what we do. So I want to get that like fully funded. So let's go ahead and we're going to put $40, so 20 to each water and trash. Vehicle registration is going to get 80. Vehicle maintenance always gets 200. The roadside assistance, we're doing 20. Allstate gets 70. Car insurance is going to get 40. And then Thanksgiving, we're just going to add $30 more and call it a day. And Christmas is going to get 320. So the total of this is $800, and that leaves us with $55, which is perfect because for our extra savings, which is the 52 week and the bookmark savings challenges, which are the two main challenges we've worked on all year long. We're gonna bring that 55 down. We are on week 45. So $45 for the 52 week and the bookmark is $10. That's $55 bringing us to a zero based budget. Perfect. Um, we're not putting as much money towards savings challenges right now because we did a thing and we signed, well, not signed up. We had our closet completely redone, new closet doors, the whole inside, like a whole system and set up from Closet World. And I know that's probably one of the more expensive places 
totally understand it. But my husband and I don't necessarily have um, the skill nor the time to do it ourselves. So that was out of the question. And a set from Ikea or Home Depot, the quality of the wood is going to be like less. Um, closet world's material. And now that I've seen it and it's in my closet, I can vouch that it is definitely sturdier. But we went with the most basic inserts. So you know how um, you could put little pegs and put the shelves. So all the little holes showed. So I went and bought like little caps to cover all those holes because aesthetically it didn't look good to me. But the system is solid. The installation was solid. One guy did it crazy. He was like almost seven foot tall and I'm only five foot. So you can imagine. Um, but there's a seven-year warranty on all that inside. The closet door is only a one-year warranty, but we got our closet doors fixed. One of ours had broken, so we were without a closet door because the glass broke, and we didn't want anyone to get cut, so we just removed it. Um, so I love it because it's um, a system, and it allows me to organize better and to reduce clutter, and it actually encouraged me to get rid of some stuff. And as we know, especially for females like... Um, the physical world clutter actually impacts our mental health. There is science behind this, guys, just so you know. Um, so it was a $5,000 job. I already, already paid um, $1,020 like the day of, and I used um, our savings for that. And then for the rest, we're going to be on a 0% interest, right? But I was thinking we could do like a couple different things. For example, for November, $700 from our budget is going to go automatically to, to pay towards that. But all the savings challenges I've been doing from July till now, technically, if I just keep saving and I do our full video like at the end of December to show you what I've saved from July to December, because we already did the first half of the year, it may be enough to just pay it off. So yeah, that money may not be going to our six-month um, expenses, but... I'm not going to allow this debt to stay in our life for long. And I know that it might not be the best way of thinking, but if I'm not paying interest, I'm more inclined to invest in things that are going to like better our home, better our lives and things like that. And for this, there's no interest. And we did get a discount, although $5,000 is astronomical. It was supposed to be more, um, but I talked them down. So yeah that so we're not putting like extra to savings like like we normally do so this is the budget for november 7th i'm gonna go ahead and cash stuff for it because my husband was kind enough to go to the bank for me um and get the cash and when he goes we get these kinds of envelopes <laughs> not my little um you know pvc envelope but it's okay because i didn't have to go and i was grateful that he was willing to he tried to get me nice bills. The teller even tried, but she said that their swap where they swap out like the bad bills for the good bills was not until today. And he went yesterday. Um, but between the two of them, they were probably laughing at me, but they were doing the best they could to get me um, decent bills. So we shall see. I have not gone through all of them. But again, if you are new here, thank you so much for watching. If you've stuck around for this whole video, I have a lot of playlists that'll kind of guide you to the different categories, like my start here, my budget with me. Um, and if you have any questions, go ahead and put those down below. Give this video a like and um, stay tuned because my cash stuffing is next. I'll see you then. Bye.